That was a, a major shock to have someone shot like that and in such a cowardly manner. La France a été choquée, vraiment choquée. Dancy must have been on to something. To assassinate an Aidsy person in, in a foreign country is a very big decision uh, for this guy. They could do it in Africa, they did it quite a lot. Pourquoi on l'a tué elle? Why? Why Dancy at that time? Parce que la vraie question, c'est pas qui, c'est la question pourquoi. A cold case brought to life. South Africa had made a deal with France for nuclear power. So from the 70s onwards, we were monitoring South Africa's nuclear weapon capability. Our nuclear program was a huge secret, probably the biggest secret. Half a trillion rand was spent between the mid-70s and, and the early 1990s. If Dulcie September had stumbled across the network of money and weapons and intelligence agents that were supporting the apartheid regime at the time, there's no doubt that she would have been an obstacle to some of those powerful players. We found that uh, a 17-kilogram bomb was placed on the door of our, of our office, timed to blow us up on Monday morning at 9. The apartheid regime had agents all over. You had to be looking over your shoulder all the time. There was definitely decisions made about targets. People were actually on the type of a target list. 30 years of searching for answers. My subjectivity with regard to who I thought that the enemy was, namely the evil racist white minority regime in Pretoria, actually hampered my search for truth. So I was chasing right-wing death squads and not looking at the left wing at all for years. She's investigating something at a time when the entire apartheid edifice is falling apart. And I think that's a particularly dangerous moment to be asking questions. She might have been onto something that wasn't wanted known then and perhaps is still not wanted to be known. Today, the search continues. We need to question who profited the most from her murder. Murder in Paris, 